When you look at modern art, what do you really see? When you think about corporate success, how are leaders coping with today's complexity? This is a unique journey, one that offers specific insight into two distinctly different worlds. Tonight, you will discover transformational paradigms. Each will positively influence your own success. Just remember one thing. Synergy is the fusion of business and creativity. There are three questions overriding most conversations that we hear today. One, how do we cope with this confluence of accelerating realities? Um, dealing with the 24-7 nanoseconds that we have to make decisions. Secondly, how do we tap the full range of creative insight of our employees, of our businesses, and of ourselves? How do we tap into that? But third, how do we keep a workforce in this environment in a steady state of calm readiness? My radar is up looking for gridlock, constraints, areas where things are slowed down in the delivery of a product or service to the customer. Leaders need to be able to think. We have to be able to utilize and leverage the strength called instinct, which is really not intuition, but it's something that we haven't allowed ourselves to embrace ever before to this degree. We're almost birthing a new capability, which is trust. It's a combination of trust and insight and observation. Art, to me, is a language. It is a way of bringing someone to see something they've never seen before and to imagine a visual depiction of ideas. Think of five different frameworks. When you open one, another one is uncovered. So the pieces of art, the five vessels, each represent the journey that we as human beings go through from birth to death and back to life again. So it's sort of a cycle of life. But it's also the creative thinking, the building of strength and courage and instinct that leaders will need. The theme of this year's five art pieces is transformation. And we've called it transformation because in both of our minds, this is a year of transformation for the world, for business, uh, for, for the fusion, I think, of creative uh, minds joining together with structural uh, minds and figuring out a better way to live. The bridge occurs the moment there's a glimpse that there's something else other than where we are. There's a sense of hope. The second painting is called Drawing the Light. Drawing the Light is about orienting yourself. Now, what do we mean by that? When we're really afraid and we see hope, the key is to lean. Lean into what's comfortable. The third piece is called The Nomad. The Nomad is about moving freely in space but with a horizon line and with a path. So it's about energetic movement in space. And you'll see in it this activity level and this zeal and this zest to just get on the road and move and never stop. And that must happen for businesses today. The fourth piece is called the portal. It's about being on the threshold. And it's about visualizing and seeing the possibilities at that point in time, a portal is opened, and that's when the real seeds of transformation occur. Because the nomad that has been building momentum can now shift and see that there's a new entry point that has been opened. The last piece is called the awakening. It is the brightest, the lightest, the most optimistic of the five pieces. The exquisite, playful, light awakening into something new, which then of course will become habitual and boring, and then we begin another cycle of life. So these vessels are very important in my mind because they're structures, they're frameworks that bring things alive. I hope that people wonder at what they're looking at. They smile because they're beginning to see things that are humorous and interesting. I hope that they feel optimistic and happy, and I hope that they 
they feel the healing vibration of the colors and I hope that they explore their own imagination through my motifs and my compositions. Breakthroughs come from insight, the alchemy of seeming opposites. A canvas upon which the eye and the mind act to create possibilities from bureaucratic to agile. Where will your canvas take you?